In today's society, we see a large rapid rise of hate crimes happening in the United States. Hate crimes that are introducing intolerance and fear to many minorities that are living here in the United States. These minorities may include racial minorities such as the Latinx community and LGBTQ youth. These large rapid rise in hate crimes is mostly because of the lack of administration that today's government does not do to help with these transgender youth, to help with these racial minorities. The organization that is based in DC that helps address these issues to help provide shelter for LGBTQ youth and racial minorities is Casa Ruby. Casa Ruby is a small organization based in DC that helps provide shelter and a sense of community and home for transgender youth, for LGBTQ youth teens, and for racial minorities that may associate with themselves as part of the LGBTQ community also. These issues are very prevalent in our mission statements that help provide shelter for these teens because of the lack of administration of the government. As seen, there is a protest happening outside the White House every day addressing these issues to help fulfill equality for LGBTQ youth teens, but the administration lacks thereof. The administration does not do enough to help provide equality for racial minorities and for the queer teen. Uh, from a study done in FBI, by the FBI in 2014 to 2017, there was a large rapid rise of hate crimes happening in the United States. Most notably, from 2016 to 2017, we have seen a 17% increase in hate crimes in the United States. That is the biggest increase we've ever seen in United States history. And it's mostly done because of the lack and rollbacks of the administration done by today. From an article done by the New York Times, Trump has done many rollbacks that help provide full equality for transgender youth and teens. For example, transgender youth and teens are not allowed to serve in the military anymore, and they are not allowed to have the full health care coverage that they deserve. Because of these lack of equality, because of the lack of tolerance that there is by the United States government, we are seeing large rise, rises in suicide rates among LGBTQ youth teens and LGBTQ youth adults. Uh, from a study done by UCLA School of Law, suicide rates are very high among LGBTQ youth teens, much higher than their straight teens. And when it comes to racial minorities within the LGBTQ youth community, they are also much higher than suicide rates among white LGBTQ youth teens. This information is very important for Casa Ruby to understand how racial minorities within the LGBTQ youth community is very important to protect and very important to be aware of so that they can pro so that they can provide full housing and shelter and a sense of community for the oppressed community. A transgendered woman named Casa Rosado has helped provide the sense of community for racial minorities within the transgender community. As a transgender woman herself, fleeing from El Salvador, uh, 16 years old, she came to DC to help find a sense of community, to help find a place where she can call home. And the place where she calls home is Casa Ruby, a place where all transgender minorities are allowed to come in and live temporarily to find the sense of home and community they need until they can go ahead and pick themselves up again. This organization that Casa Ruby provides is really helpful for the DC metropolitan area, a place that thrives on LGBTQ minorities, a place that has many diverse people, but still lacks to have full transgender tolerance and equality. And this is what Casa Ruby does. It helps provide that tolerance and it helps to educate the community to help provide the resources that the transgender community within the DC area needs. Because of Casa Ruby's mission statements, they have provided thousands of social services for 6,000 transgenders a year within the DC metropolitan area. And even though DC may be a ways from us to help provide this help for the transgender community, there are dozens of ways in which we can go ahead and help the LGBT community and help the transgender community here at home. We can go ahead 
and be close with our transgender friends, to go ahead and be close with our racial minority friends, and to go ahead and be close with any other queer friends that we have, and make sure that they have the love, affection, and resources that they need to thrive on. Because in today's society, they are being oppressed, they are being hated, and they are feared. And we need to do as much as we can to become first aid respondents to help the transgender community. We must make sure that our minority friends are okay, and we have to make sure that they have the resources that they need. And if we need to direct them to help, then we should. And we can be like Casa Ruby by ourselves individually and to help ourselves 